Hey friends, it's Friday afternoon. Uh, the weekend is uh, almost here, uh, and I'm glad we have this one chance to check in again before, uh, before all of those good things uh, start for you uh, this weekend. Uh, in the end of Mark 7, there's a story of uh, one of Jesus' healing miracles, and the, uh, the story he ends this way with the crowd uh, saying of Jesus, He has done all things well. He has done all things well. I tell you what, Jesus has indeed done all things well. Sometimes it's a statement of faith for us to say that. Sometimes it's a statement of testimony that we know he's already worked some things out. But in that healing, in that healing, Jesus put his hands on the ears of a man who was deaf and unable to speak. And the Bible says this, he said in the Aramaic word, he said, Ephatha. And that's not a magic word like hocus pocus or abracadabra. Jesus didn't have any magic words. Uh, he simply came close to us with the presence of the Father, a, a presence that was always full of mercy and of hope. And he says, Ephathai, those words just mean be opened, be opened. I wonder what Jesus might choose to open if he drew near to me or to you on this Friday afternoon. What needs to be opened in your life? Maybe it's your hands that need to be opened. Maybe you're so worried about holding on to control or holding on to the limited resources you think you have that it'd be good if Jesus came up beside you and said, be opened, and you could release what you have, maybe to release what you have to provide for someone else, maybe to release your sense of control so that, so that God could fill your hand with uh, another blessing another blessing for you and maybe for those around you. Be opened. What needs to be opened? Maybe your mind needs to be opened. Uh, maybe your mind is closed around, uh, around some serious truth around God and you can't believe that he's faithful. You can't believe that the scriptures really hold true after all these centuries, that they're more than a, a book of uh, memories and, and legends and reflections of a bygone era. Maybe if Jesus came near to you and said, be open, it'd be your mind that would be open to understand the truth uh, again, that God really does love the world and that he loves you. And he's sent his only son, Jesus, into the world, not to condemn, but to save, to bring hope and to restore life again. What needs to be opened in your life? If Jesus steps up beside you today and says, be open, are you ready to have your hands open, your mind open, maybe your eyes, your heart? How does Jesus need to open things up for you? Maybe that's the invitation for you this weekend. Maybe your weekend is wide open because God wants to open something fresh for you today. Let's pause and pray. Jesus, we uh, ask you to speak to us again, to our ears and our hands and our minds. Say again to us, be open. Let us hear, let us receive all that you really have for us in and through your Holy Spirit. Jesus, come now and let us uh, receive your openness, your presence with us. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Hey, friends, thanks for checking in on Friday afternoon. Remember that we'll have worship together in Isle of Hope this weekend, 9.15 a.m. Uh, in person in the traditional service and in the Anchor Modern service. Also online, live streaming at 9.15 a.m. Uh, both of those services uh, available to you through our website, iohumc.com. Hope to see you this Sunday.